It's Nolan. What's going on, beautiful people? It's the kid Jay Nolan here. Hey, we live. I was not expecting to go live this evening, but as things progressed, we are now here with JT and Glorilla going at it live on Twitter. They're going back and forth, exchanging a lot of a lot of haymakers going back and forth. Um, I just talked about Glorilla releasing her album earlier today, her new mixtape, excuse me, uh, everything, everything. On the project, she did make reference to JT from the City Girl. She said that they're not seeing eye to eye. They're not the best of friends, but they ain't beefing. On that same project, she also tried to extend the olive branch for Cardi B and Nicki Minaj to uh, put the beef to rest, get on a collab together, and break records. Well... Go ahead and cue the sound of a mother effing broken record right now because all that we ain't beefing stuff that Glow was talking about has been put to rest. The beef is on. As we say here in the thumbnail, be sure to like and share this video. We're going to be talking about this thing, man. We're going to get into all of the drama. I, again, this was completely unplanned. What's up, Tyler? What's up, Miss Curiosity? We in here. First thing I got to do is go ahead and play Lotto for my folks that sent super chats earlier today during the other stream. We're going to actually have the song playing this time, and then we're going to get right into the details. I appreciate y'all joining. Hey, two streams in a day. That's how we getting it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Man, I done came up out the bottom. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Got fresh like I just hit the lotto. Ooh, ooh, yeah. They say money can't fix all your problems. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Well, I say throw it in my wallet. Ooh, yeah. Man, I done came up out the bottom. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Hey man, we gotta get to the mess. We gotta get to the mess. Shout out to uh Dover Girl said Jay Nolan is on fire today. What's up, Tyler B? What's happening with it? Yeah, I'm talking to all y'all because we live. This ain't no pre-recorded. This is live. We're gonna get into this beef between Glorilla and JT. They've been trying to keep this thing under wraps, they've been quiet. You know, there is a rumor out there that Glorilla allegedly slapped or beat up JT a while back. We're going to address all of that live this evening, okay? Yeah, everybody be letting the fans get under their skin. They get they get uh they get roped in. And hopefully hopefully that they uh they bite is as strong as the bark cuz they really acting like they want to see each other in person. We're going to get right to it, all right? Once again, shout out to Lala uninterrupted and Tamia for the super chats earlier today. Now let's get to it, man. So as I mentioned, Glorilla put this these lyrics out on a song called I featuring Kevo Money earlier today. She said, I just pray one day the bad chicks will come together because Cardi and Nikki on a track will break some effing records. Me and JT ain't the best of friends, but we ain't beefing. No bitches always have uh, have an Anna that they keep a secret. Okay. So next thing you know. We get this thing here from Female Rap Room. They posted, do anybody know why Glow slapped her at that award show? So <laughs> somebody got straight to the interrogation. JT jumps out, the, out there and says, she never slapped me ever, ever, never. Like y'all find y'all somebody to play with. So this is what jumped off this whole conversation. JT wanted to go ahead and clear the record. Let it be known she was never slapped. She comes out in response to female rap room. She said, I been said she didn't. She the one that went radio silent, played into, released a song about slapping rap bitches. Now it's female unity. Corny. Mm, 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 mm. I didn't know what y'all was talking about in my chat earlier in my last video. I saw people talking about JT and Glorilla. Somebody got called ugly. I was sitting there talking about Bryson Tiller, and Bryson Tiller album, Doja Cat album and shit. I'm, I'm in the chat looking like, what the hell going on? Well, the ish has hit the fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let them know, baby. Yeah, we in the chat. Get them likes up. Go ahead and share it. Let somebody tell a friend to tell a friend. We It's, it's him again, baby. Yeah, Tatiana, we back. I had to, I had to jump on this while, it was, while it's happening before they start deleting tweets and acting like this never happened. They not finna uh, Mandela affect us on this. We gonna talk about it live, okay? 
So again, JT comes out, says, I Ben said she didn't slap me. She the one that went radio silent, basically saying that Glorilla never came out to uh, address it. She never came out to defuse the rumor. She never came out and said, hey, I never slapped JT. So she feels like because she didn't come out and advocate and say that directly, she played into the rumor. Right. And she put the Yeah Glow song out talking about slapping rap bitches and making bail. So it was like, oh, damn, did you really slap her? Damn. Wow. Because Glorilla ain't no bigger than a glow stick. So that definitely makes it sound a little bit crazier. Like you got slapped up by look Glorilla. Wow. Right. JT continues to feed into it on Twitter. Somebody says, uh oh. So she been subbing Glorilla all this time. She jumps out and says, no, the fuck I wasn't. I don't know these girls like that to have problems with them. And I always wish them the best first. All right. So she's letting it be known that uh, she was not subbing her because she did say something about uh, y'all, which y'all want to see it. Y'all want to see it on the screen. Y'all want me to share my screen? Shit. OK, fuck it. Why not? Y'all want to see it on the screen? No, the guy wasn't. Let me put myself on the screen at least if we're going to do it like that. Y'all bear with me. We live. All right. <laughs> bear with me. Let me move myself over just a little bit. Boom. Here we go. Yeah, she ain't no bigger than a glow stick. JT short, but she most solid. That's all. Um. So, yeah, she say, no, the fuck I wasn't. I don't know these girls like that. They have problems with them. And I always wish them the best first. Someone else comes in and says, so who started the rumor and why Glow ain't just clear it up to begin with? That's weird. JT says, I guess she was waiting on her tape to address and who going to clear up going viral for slapping someone when the whole hood believed it. It was on brand. Right. So she clearly has been holding on to this this uh, animosity towards Glorilla for some time, ever since this rumor started. And she's like, yo, this lady never came out to let, let it be known that she didn't slap me. But she didn't come out and really, yeah, we're going to get to all the wig ugly and all this type shit. We're going to get to all of that in just a moment, all right? So at the point where she says, I guess she was waiting on her tape to address, you know, Glorilla then jumps into the chat, right? So Glorilla comes in and responds. She says, I mentioned your name to clear the air. What you wanted me to say? I didn't slap you, but I hit you with a purse instead? Scary ass hoe. Wow. Now we get into scary ass hoe land. She says, she, I didn't slap you. I hit you with a purse. Mmm. Bag lady, you done got your taste. <laughs> oh no, you done got hit with the bag? Whoa. Uh, Elite Leo says, Armand was who I heard that rumor from. He went on his platform and said that Glow beat up prison pants. Hey, I don't know where this thing came from. All I know is, Bag lady, you done got your taste. <laughs> You got hit with a purse. Jesus. Oh, man. So Glorilla comes out and she says, don't make me pop pop up at one of them backyard. Ball. <laughs> don't make me pop out at one of them backyard barbecue shows you doing. You feeling a way about slapping rap bitches and making bail ho. Guess that last run in had you thinking you the only bitch I touched. Ooh, don't tell me Glorilla is out here just wreaking havoc on the ladies and we didn't, we never knew about it. Y'all getting lit up by the glow stick. Is that what's really going on? Oh, that's crazy. That is crazy. Let me find out Glorilla out here on some Glow Mayweather shit, man. Is it Glow Mayweather? Wow. So somebody jumps into uh, JT's mentions. They say, you should be worried about getting solo billboard entries. He says, I'll get one. What that got to do with this? Y'all be saying anything as a matter of fact. Where's your entry? So this person said, you shouldn't be worried about Glow. You should be trying to get your solo billboard entry. Right? Oh, shit. 
Then we get JT jumping out the window saying ugly shouldn't leave your mouth. And whoa, 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 whoa. So where did the ugly part come in? It looked like Glow must have uh, deleted the tweet. Glow must have deleted the tweet. Mmm. Damn. Ugly shouldn't leave your mouth ever, Joe. You look like you was born feet first, pussy ass hoe. Don't mention me. Secret animosity? Why? Yeah, Glow out here deleting tweets. That's fucked up. Damn, bitch, you said my name, Air Mattress Brain. So all of this is going, and as y'all can see, these tweets are unavailable as what she's responding to. So Glow did the post and delete. Oh, shit. Thank you, Craig. We kept the file. She says, ho, oh, shut your dumb ass up and fix them ugly ass wigs. I said it ain't no beef, ho. You the one with the secret animosity. Shout out to Craig. Yeah, yeah. Craig. Shit, Ice Cube getting it. Yeah, yeah, they started deleting. I'm glad we live right now so we could get it in real time before all this shit come down because the labels are making calls. You better believe. Labels, management, A&Rs, everybody's going to try to get this thing tucked back in. So JT says, ugly wigs, bitch, is you dumb, ho? You'll never in your life be this raw, ho. I been had fake titties off care. Whoa, whoa, off care credit? <laughs> Yeah, what type of shit is this? I've been had fake titties off care credit. I've been that bitch. You just getting training wheels. Did you feel like, did you really think that that was like a flex? You have, you. <laughs> oh my God. Is that the, is that the rich flex? 21. Can you do something for me? It was that the fucking rich flex. I've been had fake titties off of care credit. What, what what my boy Lilo Lilo said? Yeah, that's the initial. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Shout out to my guy Aboriginal with the with the super chat. Shout out to you. We're gonna get Lotto play for you in a minute, man. This is crazy. Wow. Ben had fake titties off care credit. We get uh and Uzi ain't Glorilla cousin. So we get that there. She says she been picking and I didn't care because it's no reason to. Like, girl, what was all that for? Just to say it's no beef childish as fuck. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa, we're gonna hold off on that till we get to that piece. Wow. So here we got somebody out here. Letting it be known that JT never got any type of surgery. She's been looking the same. Again, I mentioned your name to clear the air. What you wanted me to say. I didn't slap you, but I hit you with a purse. This is where JT claps back. She says, oh my God, you are a liar. Bitch, you didn't hit me with shit. Fan out ass bitch. You approached me sounding like an old beat up box Chevy. What up, gang? Damn, I can hear that in... <laughs> I can hear that in Glow voice too. What up, gang? <laughs> On the gang. That's funny as hell to me. Y'all, wow. Care credit is financing when you can't pay for it in full. Yeah, that ain't no flex, though. To say you out here getting care credit to get some titties, some titties. Wow. What up, gang? So Glorilla responds to that. She says, in May 0983 was taking off her shoes like she was going to get to me. Didn't know if her ass was trying to get active or get sturdy. Lying about getting touched is crazy. Wow. So she's saying, she's standing on 10 toes saying, yes, yes, I did. <laughs> you out here going to say what you what didn't happen? Nah, I really got to, I really, <laughs> on some Ray J shit, I touched that nigga. I touched her. Y'all wildin'. Y'all are wildin', bro. Here we go. JT comes back. I honestly thought Glow was a real bitch, man, but she not. She caused all that shit with FNF remix to oh, she thought she was a real bitch, like a like a real chick. She caused all that shit with FNF remix too. Came in the game messy and phony, ready to switch on your homies too. Had to jump back on the roof. Wow. To that, Glorilla says, yeah, you slower than me. I'm done arguing. Get up with me in real life. I don't do the internet. You gonna win every time. I already heard you going broke anyway. Oh, they throwing shots. And I, I still, I, I ain't take the, the the rightful amount of time on that backyard barbecue shit. Because y'all know, a lot of y'all was getting at me in the comments when I was going hard about JT 
booking them shows at them hookah lounges, JT booking them shows at motherfucking uh, JR Crickets, and uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all wanted to say, oh man, at least she's doing something. At least she's trying to get it together. Nah, you see people in the game that really got something going on. They, <laughs> she really the laughing stop, but niggas ain't want to come out with it. Booking shows at the goddamn, uh, <laughs> at the Bad Daddy Burgers. Fuck going on. So she said, I heard you going broke. To uh, that that same tweet, JT invited her. Come, she ready to get active. She goes in and says, "Yo, God, he started at backyard barbecues. Now he own you. So this is not a drag. Real hustlers relate, but pull up. See, this is where I love. I love being able to break down what motherfuckers is talking about. Yo, God, he started at backyard barbecues back in ninety seven, ninety six, two thousand two. He wasn't on the radio yet. He wasn't buzzing in, on the national level yet. You you got four, three, four album, three albums out as City Girls. You shouldn't be doing backyard boogies nowhere. What the hell going on? So, you know, I I, I just gotta be yeah at the Bad Daddy Burgers. Come on, dog. You can't be doing shows out here with three albums out at the Bad Daddy Burgers. She keeps going. That never made me feel away, dick face. I never reacted, never gave a fuck. Just stopped the fake unity shit. Okay? Furthermore, she goes and puts up all her mug shots for the people to see. And she says pendings and puts a red circle around the empty slot to say she finna get her ninth mug shot. Mm, I don't know why she played like that. I don't know why she played like that. Glorilla says, girl, the mug shots is from you stealing, not fighting, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Juicy J type. Damn. She comes back. I see bitching you bitches. I, I feel bad using all these explicatives, these bees, but this is how they talking to each other. You know? Nunu said it. new Glorilla take got me want to slap up it so bad and shake my ass right after. Wow. JT, what you got? What you got for me? She says, the last one, we, whoa, the last one will be from me poking holes in you like the air mattress you were sleeping on. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. So JT is officially threatening to poke holes in Glorilla. Y'all know poke holes is stabbing. Poke holes is Michael Myers. That's where we got now. She said, I'm finna poke holes in you like the air mattress you've been sleeping on. Damn, on the gang. She comes back. Fake ass street bitch always bringing up jail, but was just crying about how you ain't had to, whoa, 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 but was just crying about how you ain't have a bed until you was 15 years old. <laughs> This is why you can't get too personal in your interviews. Motherfuckers go use that shit against you. You ain't have a bed till you was 15 years old and sleeping in hotels. I'm confused. Are you street or just poor? I mean, wow. We didn't get no response from Glow on that, did we? No, not yet. Wow. Wow. Oh, they're calling her Sid the Sloth now. Damn, they said she was stealing cereal. Glorilla, you was out here stealing cereal. Damn, just corny and play too much. Somebody else comes in and says, all right, JT, let's wrap this shit up. You supposed to be at Mr. B's tonight. She says, I'm going to be there, and we about to have a motherfucking ball at Mr. B's. Glorilla responds, you can get your wig turned like Effie and puts a photo of JT. Ain't her song called Sideways? <laughs> that motherfucking bang going sideways. That bitch sitting sideways like goddamn sitting sideways. Boys in the day. <laughs> God damn it. JT comes back, says, I wore my wig like this on purpose, and Sweetie ain't have to buy it. Wow. Wow. Slow, swagless bitch. 
who wear sports bras and ski masks should never speak on a bad bitch fish face. Damn, they really going in, y'all. They going hard. That is crazy. Yo, ski mask lord, you said a word right here. She brought up yo Gotti name must don't know who she dealing with. Yo Gotti allegedly done got some niggas taken off the earth. You know, that's what they say on YouTube. Wow. What she say? She can be both. Cause once upon a time you were stealing to survive. Yeah, that's a fact. All y'all, all you ain't no way you could try to stun on me when we both was in the struggle. We both was on the good time screen. We both was scratching and surviving. Good times. Like y'all came from the same shit. But now you want to flex up cause y'all beefing. God dang, she dead wrong turning that part to the left. Man, I'm trying to tell you, I ain't never seen no shit like that. I ain't even want to comment on people's appearance, but she said she wore it like that on purpose and sweetie ain't had to buy it. She comes back, bitch, why are you talking about wigs? Are you happy you can finally afford one? God damn, they going hammer. Glorilla, I guess she done took all her responses down because we don't got no more from her. But uh, we got more. Oh, no, that's it. Is that it? Damn. So, whoa. Because I know JT don't clock out. JT don't clock out. We just had to refresh the motherfucking... Oh, Glorilla still deleting tweets. Wow. She says... She called her glow shysty. Whoa. Leave me, a, leave me alone, damn little boy. Wow. Somebody says, no, JT, you've worked so hard and grinding so much lately. Don't feed into no Rilla. We got bigger fish to fry and she ain't one of them, period. Don't let her ruin what you built. She says, I know. I'm mad that even when I go another route, bitches find a way to mix me. But this is only the beginning. Nothing going to stop me. I don't know. I think something might stop you because you still at them backyard boogies. She comes back to defend herself. She says, my hair was T. Now we see who was watching who. I can't tell you your last look, cousin Skeeter. She called her cousin Skeeter, dog. Man. Yeah, she do got number time. What up, Bicel Kill? She has all the time. Wow. Somebody says, get some rest now. Milwaukee counting on you. Fuck the BS. No. She came back. She says, bitch, your ugly no sex appeal got dragged. For trying to be seductive at the awards. Crying to your label because you was tired of crump dancing. <laughs> okay, it's getting funny. She says you was out here crump dancing at the awards. God. You are a Glock toting pit bull that need to stay in her G Fazos. Wow. You're not a Cinderella. Hell, you're not even a stepsister, bitch. Glorilla says your comeback's weak. Just stop, boo. It's okay. I won. Let me go through Glow's replies because she might got some more in here that she ain't. Oh, she done deleted everything. She's really. All right. Yo, Gotti and them done got the Glow. She's been compromised, people. She's been compromised. <laughs> oh, no. JT says, you, I thought you won. I stopped. I was being generous, letting you promote that whack ass project that nobody give a F about and nobody asked for. You just be doing shit. Work on your craft. Soften your voice. Everything ain't got to be hard like your life. Hey, yo. Y'all done got JT in her bag because she going kind of hard now that Glorilla's not on Twitter no more. She says, y'all hoes jealous because I do my thing. I got to say, the project is not whack, though. And we know for... For one, Glorilla could stand on her own and make her own motherfucking solo project. You have yet to do that. So we're going to have to see you get out here and get a little more active. Just because you out here going to uh, doing shows at motherfucking Carabas does not mean that you're doing your thing. OK. You put this no bars out. No bars was decent, but it ain't had no hook. And then you got this song called Sideways Out, which people are trying to amp like it's dope. It's not. It's not good. You can't stand on your own as a solo artist. We need to see a project from you that nobody asked for before you start trying to clown somebody else for their tape. And she got a big song with Megan Thee Stallion. And she's on tour with Megan Thee Stallion. They finna go do arenas. No gill. 
while you're performing at the backyard boogies. And you came out how many years before Glow? You know what I'm saying? That's why I be some people be like, man, why are you going in on uh wow, that's a great question. Don't make me have to look it up. Oh, we got some JT fans in here. Nobody give a fuck about Glorilla mixtape, but she's going on an arena tour while J Oh no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. I thought you was a JT fan. Shout out to you. QC not even supporting them. That is a fact. QC done sold the company and said, get it how you live, baby. <laughs> if you got if you got music to put out, go ahead and give it to the people. If not, we don't care either way. Them niggas cashed out. And Glorilla's tape is fired. She got some joints on there. Wow, Sonny says, Fed's looking for your BFF. Sit this one out. Good God. Oh, just two minutes ago, JT comes back and says, and I bet not catch y'all hoes trying to do club tours since it's so beneath y'all. I swear it's been the most fun I had in my career in a while. Um, who you think is going to go backwards to a club tour after doing a sold out arena tour? Who are you like? Who are you fooling? The, the question is, after you do your subway tour, are you actually going to get an arena solo? Because Nicki Minaj definitely did not reach out to you. And I'm not here to shit on JT. That's not my objective. But she be acting like real delusional. I just want to see if she done re-upped. Right? Because she always going to come and re-up. Again, I got to refresh the page. She got some more. She says, they coming to see JT and them two songs shaking the walls in the clubs. I'm coming for, for y'all hoes, though. Pay your rent up because when it's my turn, I'm not leaving a crumb. Yeah, the delusion is killing me. The delusion is is otherworldly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you say? Nah, JT make it too hard. I'm from Florida and I try to root for her. But that spirit too nasty. That seems to be the consensus that a lot of people feel. Like she gets on online and just spews out so much negativity and hate. It's like she be like she be sitting with her phone in her hand just waiting on a negative tweet to come through so she can bust off. Pause. No diddy. Um... She don't care about her career now, how she claims. She just want to be under Nikki and Uzi all her life. That has seemed to have been the trajectory. Oof. Ken Carson says Glorilla has a male fan base, which JT will never have. Damn. Wow. At least we know. At least we know who the people are rocking with. She says <laughs> performing at the Crab Shack. At Joe's Crab Shack at that, David Shirley says JT is prettier like her mentor. Okay, she might be prettier than Glow, but she's not having the same success. She's not enjoying the same fruits of her labor. She keep calling it a tour too. Like she ain't, she not going to bow out. Like come, come to F on. You got some more JT before I stop sharing my screen? Yes, she does. <laughs> Dila says, ooh, why do everybody feel comfortable trying JT? I see why she distanced herself because that's fake as fuck. Anyways, I always root for the underdog. JT says, jealous, but was in my DM crying for that remix, child. They forget fast. So apparently there was a stir up about that FNF remix, which at this point, FNF is so long ago. It's so played out. Nobody's even bumping that song no more. Glorilla done moved on two projects since then but she ended up bringing that up let me unshare my screen she ended up bringing that up like some sort of flex i don't know y'all i don't know much about glow but will she sell out an arena tour alone absolutely not but that's why you all right i'm gonna have to bring up what i was talking about originally so the whole point of opening up for somebody on an arena tour is so that you can get in front of these people, audience, you build up fans, you build up clientele, you build up contacts. The whole thing is that if you're going on a 40 city tour with somebody like a Megan Thee Stallion, your team should be getting you in position to where next year or a year and a half from now, you can go back to those same places. 
You might not do an arena tour that first stop back, but you should be going to theaters and amphitheaters. Glorilla, when she goes back to these towns, she shouldn't be doing no backyard tour, no backyard boogies. But the issue with artists like a JT who's out here strictly doing bars and grills and hookah lounges is that she's getting a guaranteed bag because she's not actually selling tickets. The whole thing is to build up a ticket history. So you're going to places where people are already going to attend. It's just like going to the Mexican restaurant on a Friday night right now. That bitch is packed out whether you're there or not. That's basically what JT is doing from city to city, state to state. She's going to places that are guaranteed to have pl people in attendance because they're places where people already hang out in local areas. So if JT decides, oh, let me go do an arena tour. Next thing you're going to know is you're going to have a bunch of empty seats and dates getting canceled. The whole objective, and this is something I learned from other rappers like Lil Durk, I've seen uh, Russ talk about this, is at a certain point, you have to stop getting the guaranteed bag from the clubs, right? Which is hard for a lot of artists to turn down because you're getting 20000 30000 a stop, which is good money. Nobody's saying she's broke. But the problem is, if you want to get to the 50000 80000 100000 per show margin, you have to get to the point where you're selling tickets. At least Glorilla is on a actual tour. She's setting herself up. So I hope that makes sense to y'all. Oh, here we go. KK says, but she on tour by herself with no Meg helping her. I see whose side you on. It's crazy. You talk about you here for the girls. You laughing at JT Moore. Yes, I'm laughing at JT Moore because she's the one doing backyard shows. Like, you got to understand. I didn't say that Meg, like, why, we wanted Nicki Minaj to look out for JT. That's what was, that was the talk, is why Nicki didn't put you on her tour. Why would she rather go out on a tour with a non-rapper like Monica, right? That never happened. She got all these girls doing her dirty work, and y'all, you done dragged me into this. I've been trying to stay off Nicki. She got all these girls like Akbar V, all these flunkies, right? But she don't do shit to help them. This girl is stuck out here with a dead label. She's doing backyard TV shows with TV dinners. But then you get on online and you try to flex up on people like you're doing big shit. And then you false advertise your tour and try to make it seem like it's this big thing when you know that you're stopping at Blockbuster Video. So... It ain't about whose side I'm on. It's about what's real and what's not. I don't know if JT got slapped by Glorilla. I don't know if she got punched. I don't know if she got hit with a purse. Right? But if we're going to compare what's going on, what we see here is that people actually did have a demand for a new Glorilla music. When she put out Yeah Glow, that was actually a viral, like people jumped on that quick. LeBron James played that on his on his joint. Y'all know when LeBron play a song and he's hyped to it, that means something in the hip hop space. Where is JT's LeBron James moment? That's all I'm saying. Y'all are so weird. I find it funny that it's cute to make fun of JT because of what? She's doing things on her own. Glorilla's a much better artist than JT. What are we talking about? JT don't even got no music to prove that she's dope. You telling me that you sitting around bumping City Girls projects? Because the, the numbers don't say so. And I hate to bring up the numbers, but... Glorilla has been one of the it girls for the last two years. Let's not act like that hasn't happened. Glorilla went through a little little uh, situation with that cha-cha-cha, and I was openly criticizing cha-cha-cha. I laughed hard as hell about cha-cha-cha. When Kai Sanat clowned her about that record, I supported Kai Sanat clowning her about that record. So let's not act like ain't nobody over here being uh, balanced. 
But everybody has their moment when the joke is on them. That's what happens in the industry. Everybody's going to have their moment. JT's going to have her moment. Glorilla's had her moments, and it won't be the last. But today, the joke is on JT because you're out here doing hookah lounges. You got three albums out doing hookah lounges. Tell me another artist you've seen do that with three mainstream major label albums. I will wait until Kingdom Come. You're not going to be able to show it to me. Y'all folks that like JT, y'all are just like the Nicki Minaj stands. And L, I hate to say it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all go hard for somebody that hasn't earned all of that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all will disregard hardcore facts over emotions. And that's cool if that's how you feel. But don't say I'm crazy. <laughs> like, I don't get it. It's, it's her energy. She act like she the biggest motherfucking artist. She came out talking about she finna be snatching all the crumbs and all this stuff. But what signifies that she's actually going to be able to do that? And then you got people talking about some, well, at least she's going out there. Y'all wouldn't say that for nobody else. If any other rapper was out here popping big shit like they was doing something big and you found out that they were touring through uh, This Is It barbecue stops. Y'all niggas would be on their head too. I already reviewed Glow EP. You got to go to my last video, the one that's before this. I talked about Glow and Megan collab. I talked about Glow's project, the songs that I liked. I also talked about uh, Bryson Tiller's new project. I also talked about uh, Doja Cat's uh, Scarlet 2 Deluxe. It's all in the same video. It's the one that uh, came out a couple hours ago. What up, Kadeem? What up, everybody? It's crazy. No one's mad at JT for sticking up for herself. She just lame. Hey, I didn't say that. That's what Lon Lonnie says. Uh, she talking about Glow switching up like she ain't go radio silent on Megan when she needed a feature for Traumazine. She phony. Interesting. How you gonna say Glow and Meg fell off big time? This is craziness. Is there? Can you name a fall off harder than the City Girls? Are you serious? They've been down since the twerkulator. Are we going are we really going to play that game like fall off? How do you fall off into an arena tour while your fave is out here performing at Sonny's barbecue? Y'all got to stop it with me cuz I'm not the one to play with, you know what I mean? Like we got to be real about these things. I don't hate JT Kadeem. I don't hate her at all. I don't know this girl. But the thing about it is <laughs> with, see, with what we have in front of us, there's only one or two options. You're either going to agree with one or the other. It's not like we got a huge sample size to deal with. And JT has no solo songs to be acting like she the shit. She got two records. And then you're going to try to say nobody asked for your mixtape. Plenty of people asked for her mixtape. Because when she put Yeah Glow out, it went. So I'm not with nobody lying. I'm not with nobody trying to one up somebody when you're really not in a position to do so. Nah, I'm going to I'm gonna say it. And just because my point does not align with your views, that's okay. I know it hurts. It stings to have somebody on screen telling you that your feeling ain't valid. But I'm not telling you it's invalid. You just feel that way because I'm not confirming you. I'm not saying I don't like JT because if JT drops a song that I like tomorrow, I'm going to say, damn, this song is fire. That's the difference between me and some of these other motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck about none of these people, to be honest. I don't know them. I don't want to know them. I don't want to meet them. My objective here is to talk about what's going on in music and entertainment. I'm going to give my opinion. Can't nobody sway my opinion once I'm it's, it is what it is. So. I don't understand why it is that y'all come out and acting like <laughs> somebody's responsibility is to come say what you have on your mind. No, I'm not going to speak for you. That's not what it is. And I appreciate you, Nia, because you're you're a regular, you're an insider over here. But just because I'm clowning JT today don't mean 
that if she drops something I like, I'm not going to say it's fire. It's crazy. JT just doing a lot. She's always doing a lot. I'm about to refresh. I'm about to refresh her Twitter. I bet she's still going in talking crazy. Why y'all jumping in in the, in the chat over here? Oh wow. She actually been kind of chilling. Okay, so somebody must have made a call because she actually retired for the moment. I was definitely expecting JT to still be going in now. Yeah, she's an opener. Some artists think because they chart, that's all that matters, not realizing that people will stop messing with them if they have a jacked up attitude and personality. Um, exactly. JT, about two times a week, goes out and calls her fans broke based on anything that they say to her. She's, she's going on shouting matches on Twitter every week calling somebody broke talking about how her life is better than theirs but y'all want to back her up and she be talking to regular fans that's wild to me how do you block me get the fuck off the stream how about that i could ban you right now how about that part <laughs> like it's that easy what you gonna mean how, how do you block me i didn't ask you to be here Goodbye on some AOL shit. I don't know why y'all want to play. I don't know why y'all want to play. She out here at the hookah lounges. <laughs> What's going on? Real Amazing says, and JT and Carisha said on Breakfast Club, they don't really have a team for real, for real. Just a label, but not proper management. Exactly. And their, their label is gone. The label is effectively done. You know what I'm saying? Because Coach K and, and, and Q and, uh, yeah, P, excuse me, Coach K and P, they sold their, their interest in the company. So they're like advisories now. They're not even the day-to-day -day niggas at QC no more. You see Lakia ain't putting shit out. You see JT and, uh, and Miami just winging this shit. I don't wish that on nobody, but you also can't be winging it and popping shit like you big. You got to go out and put the grind in. You got to put the sweat equity in. You got to go earn your keep. But you can't be popping big shit. Some people don't want to hear that, and that's fine. That's cool. But <laughs> Nia says, JT will have the final laugh. Hey, I say, I say it all the time. I say it a couple times a week. You can't count nobody out. So I never said that JT was garbage. I never said she couldn't rap. Some people want to bring looks into the equation. I've never said she was ugly. I never said, you know what I mean? Her wig was twisted in that photo, but I, hell, I didn't say that. It was what it was. Glow seems to be trying to take Megan's stance and ignoring JT. And maybe that's why she deleted. This mess brings more attention to Glow new music. I don't know if Glow is trying to take a Megan stance. I think Glow got swept into the back and forth. Um, she started kind of incriminating herself low key, talking about how she swung on her and hit her with a purse. And I think at a certain point, damage control got involved with Glow because she's got more to lose at this current time. Last thing you need is an investigation for assault while she's out there trying to go on tour. They start looking into shit like, yo, man, let's. Let's get this under control. This is not true. Nobody does not. I, I can't speak for nobody else. I don't give a damn about nobody's affiliation to Nicki Minaj. But I don't see how you're going so hard for somebody who got two solo songs talking and popping big shit. And she out here trying to flex up on Glorilla. And Glorilla is just doing more than her today. As of April 5th, 2024, 
Glorilla has more going on for her than JT. We're not going to act like that's not the truth. If the tables turn tomorrow, guess what Jay Nolan's going to say? The tables have turned. Y'all should have seen enough videos of mine by now to know I'm not, I'm not, I'm not nobody's personal siren. I'm loyal to the Jay Nolan inside the industry show. So it's all good. I'm going to keep going through these comments because I like entertaining what y'all talking about. I don't know. CMG might be the next QC. I don't know if they get to that level, but hey, maybe so. You know, the problem with, with CMG is they got to stop signing niggas that's going to get locked up. Who's asking me a question? Because I damn sure didn't ask her nothing. Backyard shows, no hit songs, and she talking big shit. Ooh, we. And it's not a real tour. It is not. <laughs> Apparently it is, bro. Like, I've been catching it all day, though. I don't care. I caught it when I had my take about the J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar situation. When I said I, I didn't like that J. Cole was apologizing while trying to diss at the same time. Apparently calling that out for what it is is a problem. Now we sitting here talking about JT and we got people in here trying to act like she's just this superstar Britney Spears level pop star compared to uh, Glorilla. And that's just not true. You know what I'm saying? Performing at the at the TV dinner spot. Tyler says, Jay Nolan, what do you think JT would have to do to get back on track? Like, what advice would you give her? Number one, if I had to give her any advice, I would say stop going back and forth with people on Twitter. You're a signed artist. Um, you got way more to lose than anybody else that you're talking to. Um, you only have two songs. Only one of those songs, talking about solo-wise, because she's about to be a solo artist. The City Girls are over. Only one of those songs has a hook. So we need JT to get in the, in the studio, get a project out, and learn how to complete a song on her own. We haven't seen her actually make a real constructed, fully constructed song on her own. She had a very good appearance on the new Dochi record. I gave her credit for her verse on that. So anybody in here trying to act like I got some type of personal vendetta against JT, I just gave her credit with her feature on Dochi, right? But again, when you step out as a solo artist from being in a group and, a, and, and your group failed, your group didn't live. Your group was on the decline when y'all disbanded. It's not like y'all was still going upward. You got to, at some point, I hate to use the word humble, but you got to humble yourself a little bit. You got to go out and put some work in, right? JT's doing all these backyard boogie barbecue shows. We haven't seen JT doing no interviews in these cities at the at the local radio stations. That's something she she could be doing to connect more with people. Where's the interviews at? Right? Where's the project? Where's the mixtape? Where's the EP? Where's the official single that can actually be worked? The catchy shit. Where's the, you know what I'm saying? All the ladies that are succeeding right now, they have catchy music. They have shit that ladies want to go out and twerk to, actually want to have, that could play in a party. Where's her record like that? Y'all really bumping sideways like that? It, are people going to lie and act like sideways is, is that deal? JT is not humbling herself going to the barbecue parties. I got to be honest, baby. She's going to where she can get the money from. Let's not act like she has a lot of options. <laughs> Let's not act like she got options. She has to go get that money because she's not going to book a uh, an arena tour. So she's either going to sit at home or she's going to go get her bag from these places. So I don't feel like that's humbling. 
Intellectual Beauty says, that's why I like watching your channel. You'll be keeping it 100. Jay Nolan, unlike these other channels. Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just being real. LOL, even Sweetie canceled her tour. Doja tour canceled. J-Lo tour canceled. Tyler canceled her tour. Tyler's injured. I don't think J-Lo's tour is canceled. I think they revised it and turned it to a greatest hits tour. But who's listening to the new J-Lo album? Let's be honest about that. And she had a couple decent songs. I don't know what Doja's situation is. Sweetie is another artist. Sweetie recently came out and admitted that nobody cared about her music. So, I think he was, I don't know, I, I would think that he's trying to say that everybody's struggling maybe, but what we don't see is Megan and, and uh, Glorilla canceling their tour. Here we go. Y'all know that tour is fake. Them numbers are fake. Glow and Meg ain't selling like that. Well, you, you do the investigation to tell us where that proof is. <laughs> she need Rock Nation. Damn. Oh, y'all don't think Tyler's injured? Mm -mm. Ken Carson says Doja's tour is not canceled. It's selling out. I didn't go look up Doja Cat's tour, so I can't tell you right or left on that. I'm going to let y'all speculate about that. I'm going to have to look that up after we get done. You know, that's my whole thing is when people start making up angles to try to, <laughs> I don't, I don't like to make it up shit. We either going to deal with hard facts. You're going to have to say something that you can back up with real truth but when you start just saying saying things to disparage people and you ain't got no proof of it that's where we gotta stop the whole city girls to solo career transition has been sketchy and interesting like everything changed when jt came back home come on now it, let's not act like the people are blind we've been out here seeing this they've been there the city girls fall off has been observed for at least a year Everybody was already speculating that they wasn't friends no more, that they didn't really like each other, that they had a strictly business relationship. We had Miami coming out. Remember when uh remember when the whole Cardi JT thing went and um JT had to specify that nobody wrote her raps. She didn't come to she didn't come to Miami's defense. Shit, niggas writing her raps, maybe. But my shit is real. I thought that was a little suspect. How you gonna throw your partner under the bus? You supposed to say, ain't nobody writing our raps. Fuck it. Girl, y'all see nobody... Wait. Girl, y'all see no hate. Nobody don't want to see popping that... What? What does that mean? Elite Leo says he bought three tickets or or she. They said that they bought three tickets. So, yeah, that's the other thing. One thing you can't say is that Megan ain't selling because the majority of the people that be in my chat, they fuck with Megan. They bought tickets. They let me know how much they paid for them tickets. Motherfuckers was paying 160. Somebody said they paid down there 300 a ticket. They let me know how much they was paying on Megan. They they can't, motherfuckers was breaking the bank. I don't know where I got all the Meg fans. I think it was when, during the beef with Nikki. But motherfuckers came and let me know. We gonna be there. You know when you ask your, your people who are gonna be there? A lot of the folks up in my chat gonna be there. I will not. But they will. Oh wow. <laughs> Biki says JT should go ask to app open for Glow. Wow. <laughs> wow JT need to be calling Megan and Glorilla to say hey y'all got some more space <laughs> wow that's crazy uh 
Um, you could go on Ticketmaster and see that the shows are sold out. The only tickets available on a lot of those dates are resale, but y'all don't ever want to acknowledge those things. I'm not even here to talk about Megan like that. Ah, okay. He says the point he was making was the ladies refused to come combine forces for a ladies first tour. Well, the problem is they don't get along like that. Clearly, Glorilla said JT ain't the only rap girl that she done put hands on. So clearly they, they can't seem to get along. Yeah, yeah, that, I think that was on Act Up. Yachty was writing for Carisha. See, we got Lauren. She going to three different, what? She going to see Megan in Tampa and probably Atlanta too. So you gonna have to take it up with folks in the chat that I already knew was buying tickets. Megan had to open a new tour night in Chicago because it sold out so fast. We already done been through this before. <laughs> right? One person said they paid three fifty. Somebody else paid three sixty for them tickets. You can't say they're not selling when we got real life people that's buying them. Yeah, I do too. Because uh, y'all ain't going to see me at none of these motherfucking shows. <laughs> y'all pulling up to the awards. You're going to BET. I see you then. And, and they continue. Pay two eighty five for the Houston ticket and spending money on outfits, etc. For the Hot Girl Summer Tour. I told you, you're going to have to take it up with the people. You're going to have to take it up with real people. <laughs> Shout out to Nita. Lala says, right now I think Meg and Cash Dog are the only two females that could go toe to toe with a lot of these male rappers. Oof, I don't know about Cash Dog. I think Megan, cause cause she already showed that she wasn't afraid to go at Drake. She wasn't afraid to say what she had to say about um Tory Lanez, she wasn't afraid to say what she had to say about DJ Academics. So she jumped out. I don't know. You know, Cash Doll has the heart to go toe to toe with male rappers. I don't know if she got the bars to do it. She would have to prove me otherwise. Cash Doll has gotten better, though, but I didn't used to like her music very much. <laughs> it's funny how this started after Glow said she doesn't have beef with JT. That is, that's a fact. The fact that she came and tried to clear the air and JT jumped out the window, like, I wonder how that's supposed to work. Shout out to L says Meg tour going to be lit because it's going to be a straight twerk show. You already know why they want them floor seats. Yeah, it's going to be fun. That's the whole point. People want to go have fun. Like if you can't have fun at the show, you wasting your money. What pussy popping people and drunks K K K. What do you think people are doing at them JT shows at the, at the, at the barbecue house? All they're doing is twerking and drinking. They're literally at clubs. What would, what would you rather be at tonight? You want to be at the club or you want to be at an actual performance venue with a professional artist on stage with professional sound systems and wireless mics with space? I don't understand where you're coming from. Simone said, I paid $4.75 for mine. They dropping money. They dropping money on. It's funny to see somebody in here trying to say these tickets ain't selling. And all I see is motherfuckers that done bought tickets. I bought my tickets for Meg way before I knew Glow was going to be a part of it. But I paid three and some change. <laughs> My birthday Sunday, my friend bought us tickets for May here in Philly. All the proof. We got receipts in here. That's big facts. If it ain't Kendrick, I'm not going. I done seen J. Cole live. I done seen Usher live when I went to Dreamville. I done seen everybody I need to see. I saw Jid. If it ain't K-Dot, I'm not leaving the house. 
two tickets, three fifty each. We just got all these receipts coming through. All right, we got another one. Nah, stop trying to shame her doing club tours. She has to start somewhere. Her club show selling more than Glorilla's music, though. That's a fucking lie. See, why do y'all why do y'all do these lies? How's her how's her club appearance gonna be selling more than her music? That's not even logically possible. You know how fast music is consumed when a mixtape comes out? You mean to tell me that you think JT is selling in the upwards of 20,000, 30,000 seats in club mojos? At hookah lounges? She out there damn near performing at food trucks? And you telling me she's outselling a new project? That everybody's going to right now while while JT's going to one city to get her bag tonight. There's people all over the world tuning in to Glorilla's mixtape on numerous streaming platforms. Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal. The delusion don't look good on you. Go watch, take a wash off or take a shower. Get that hate up off you because you're not even making sense. I don't know why they threw Cash Doll in there. I was just responding. And I ain't I ain't got no problem putting y'all on the summer jam screen, people. Kendrick Lamar shows be worth every cent, although I paid less than 200 for floor seats. Yeah. I already know they worth it. Cause that nigga puts a lot of effort and thought into his performances. He ain't just coming out there rapping. But we ain't talking about Kendrick right now. We on Glow and got named JT. I want to see what y'all talking about. We got we got more people. Reason why I paid that much for Meg and Beyonce. Don't mind paying. KK is wildin'. I respect her though, but wildin' is the word. My point exactly. Those clubs are packed on a regular weekend. So JT or no JT, those same clubs are going to be packed because people go there. That's what they do. They ain't got shit else to do but go to the club, get some drinks. Niggas going to be in there trying to see what's up with the ladies. They're going to do that shit every weekend. And all you got to do is insert rapper. Boom. JT. Next weekend. Uh, Plies. Next weekend. Ray J. Next weekend. Uh, insert Instagram model. That's crazy. See? <laughs> I think this Kendrick Cole and Drake beef and this glowing JT situation proves that no one is safe from beefing. I don't know what's in the water right now. Everybody seems to be on edge in hip hop. Niggas is waiting for somebody to say their name any kind of way. Glorilla came out and said, we ain't got no problem. We not beefing. And this girl said, oh, you said my name. Fuck it. It's up. That's crazy. No, Cardi's not on tour, though. She hasn't even put her album out. She's going to be on tour. They're actually in the in the stages of finalizing all of that but no we don't even have an album cover on cardi yet we got more receipts i'm gonna be in the pit on the stage we showing out for meg i don't know no mail you made a, a excellent point start she's an established artist she got three albums out with her group and y'all keep saying she's supposed to start somewhere. They are they've been doing club appearances for the last four years. Matter of fact, for the last six, because they dropped their first project in 2018. You're not supposed to be doing club appearances for six years with three major label albums. I don't give a fuck who you put in that equation. It's not adding up. <laughs> Tyler said, hey, y'all keep talking about buying these tickets. Buy her one. Shit, y'all got all this big money. She. I'm just enjoying all the comments. I'm just talking to the people. 
We got a oh, oh, oh. Shout out to CEO. Much respect. Just supporting you, broski. Thank you for all the knowledge you dropping, your consistency. I got a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and play play Lotto for the homies. To CEO and the homie Aboriginal who dropped in earlier. I didn't play it for, for y'all because I was going through all the tweets, but let's let's just throw it out there. Ooh, ooh, yeah. When I done came up out the bottom, hey, ooh, yeah. Got fresh like I just hit the lotto, hey, ooh, yeah. They say money can't fix all your problems, ooh, ooh, yeah. Well, I say throw it in my wallet, ooh, yeah. When I done came up out the bottom, ooh, ooh, yeah. Got fresh like I just hit the lotto, ooh, ooh, yeah. They say money can't fix all your problems, ooh, ooh, yeah. Well, I say throw it in my wallet. Shout out to CEO and the homie Aboriginal. I appreciate y'all for the super chats. And as I was playing that, we got more people with Megan tickets. That's crazy. It's crazy. Like we got so many, pe so many people that got their tickets, but yet we got folks in the chat talking about some. Show us the proof that the tickets is selling. The end of the day, man. I feel like. No matter whose side you're on, your favorite artists, when you go up to bat for them, especially when you come out and be trying to advocate for them in these types of situations, let that person show and prove. You don't got to defend nothing that's not there. Right. You may like them. You may want to see them succeed. But when you start making up lies, making up stories, making up narratives to just to try to make people understand why you like that person, it makes people look at you crazy. <laughs> It makes us look at you and that artist crazy. It's no need for it. B-Hop says, I saw the City Girls at Essence and JT just stood there and acted like she didn't know she didn't want to be there. Meg going to give us a show. And that's another thing. We saw me, me and my lady, we saw City Girls at Dreamville last year. They was half assed in the choreography. It was like a smoke break. Like, we seen them live on stage. It was not impressive. And that's with the two of them. Just imagine one of each. <laughs> Miami going on her solo tour. JT going on her solo tour. If y'all half assing the choreography as a unit, what the hell y'all finna do by yourself? Big facts. Somebody said, is JT still online? Let me refresh and see if she's still talking. Uh, she is still talking as a matter of fact. She has a couple things that she had to get off her chest. So Akbar V stepped into the chat. Wow, not Akbar. She says, I do what I want. I say what I want. Fuck whoever. The girl JT fuck that big toy story limited edition head ass hoe. She ain't no threat. Okay, so Akbar V is now jumping into the chat to shoot at Glorilla. Wow. Another artist who has nothing going on. She got all these bars and she not even doing bar tours. Akbar V. Like she literally just only time we hear Akbar V's name in 2024 is when she's coming to defend Nicki Minaj and hopefully asking for a backstage pass. That is crazy work to me. Sir P comes out. He says attacking someone for being poor as a child is just strange. He says that aiming at JT. She says attacking me for going to prison is strange too. Same difference. How you know what I've been going through? Eye for an eye. Fuck y'all weak ass bitches on this app. She's she still going in. This is why people don't be liking her. Somebody else added JT. They said when you call somebody poor but got sat down for fraud. JT says ho shut up before I sit down on you. This is this is the, this is the lady that y'all are defending some of y'all. She comes back out and says, y'all hoes are weak ass hypocrites. How is it that y'all are actually advocating for this character? <laughs> Akbar ain't no damn boogeyman. Akbar is, uh, yeah, exactly. Only time we hear is, like, yeah, you say Nikki name or somebody affiliated because JT, you know, is the lap dog. As they say. 
Akbar says this every day. Every two days, she says she not beefing. Some of y'all who don't know who Akbar is, she is a female rapper from Atlanta. Um, she got she got known because she had a viral video where she was rapping about MLK and Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King and, and Malcolm X, but she couldn't stay on beat. And for some reason, she's been in the uh, in the blogs and stuff ever since. Nicki Minaj reached out to her, gave her some love, put her on the freaky, Super Freaky Girl remix, if I'm not mistaken. And she's been going up for Nicki ever since. That's Akbar V. There's not much else to her story. Her legend ends there. No, Nikki never says anything about JT and her beefs. She goes on and does her shows. She goes home to her family. She gets on station head with her fans. She don't really give a fuck about that lady. And I don't I don't blame her for not giving a fuck. Uzi's not going to get involved. Megan about to give Glow some of the best advice that she has gotten from Beyonce. Don't speak on social media anymore. Put it in the music and keep pushing. I mean, we would like to think that that that's going to happen. I think Glow Glow typically doesn't engage on that level anyway. But you know. You know. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah, Akbar from Love and Hip Hop. Exactly. So, once you get past Glow, once you get past JT, the slope goes down just to get to Akbar V's stop on on the uh, on the metro. Like, she's not even really qualified to be jumping in. JT, uh, see, somebody said it. They said being famous for years and doing a club tour is not a flex, but OK. JT comes back and says it is, though. It's a big one because they sing in no bars and sideways. Been famous for years. Two years was spent in lock. Two was in a pandemic. I'm doing my thing and people like my music and y'all mad. I'm not scared to start over. Focus on your life. That will never amount to mine in no way. See, the thing about that is you're saying excuses. Glorilla came out toward the end of the pandemic and she's already surpassing you. So how you beefing with her? You got four years in the hole. That's crazy work to me to even try to act like now you want to try to bring people into your story. You don't get the you don't get that grace. And in the midst of all of this beefing and going back and forth. Saweetie decided to uh, to show her support for JT because when she said she was going to get her next mug shot, Saweetie seemed to have liked the post. Right? So, I told y'all, these ladies, they don't really get along like that. And she got kicked off the Glorilla FNF remix, so they say. I don't know. It might have been a money issue, budget. I don't know. But Sweetie need to stay far, far away from this issue. Sweetie needs to stay far away. Because what we do know, Glow seems to be with the shits. JT seems to be with the shits. Diamante, stick to your rich tivities because somebody wig might get snatched and you don't want it to be yours. Like, that's for sure. Right? And, and it wasn't too long ago, about a month ago, that they was yucking it up, Glorilla and, and Sweetie, 
playing nice with each other, but all of a sudden she wants to like JT's post about getting another uh, mug shot. Let's go ahead and just play this. This is look at them yucking it up, smiling in each other's face, smiling your face. Oh, the world, you want to take your place. Backstabber, backstabber, smile in your face. Y'all see it. But you want to be liking on somebody post in the middle of a beef. You got to stay far away from shit like that. Because you never know where you might end up. Yeah, everybody picking sides. Everybody is picking sides. <laughs> the line is being drawn. Like, at the end of the year, we're going to really see what we got. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be the mother effing. <laughs> it's going to be Street Fighter versus SNK at the end of the year. You're going to see who's on this side. You're going to see who's on the other side. And the crazy thing about Sweetie is we're just now giving her some leniency. Motherfuckers was not fucking with her music. She came out with Rich Tivities. It's like, okay, that's a little bit of bop. That's a bop. Okay. Don't shoot yourself out your position. Because you out here uh, posting snippets of your next record. And it don't sound bad. But please, keep dancing around your backyard pool. Don't get involved with these two. They already done had one altercation where someone allegedly got slapped and or hit with a purse. I don't think you want to get involved with these two. See? Sweetie is a sweet girl, but I don't think she wants to be dragged by her BBL. Oh, wow. Not dragged by your BBL. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Sweetie low-key been away since Megan got that distribution deal. See, I was saying the same thing. I felt like for artists like Megan to get a get a direct distro deal, owning her masters, owning her publishing, owning her music from here on out, getting the majority share on her sales and streams. And you've been signed to Warner for the past five years. And they gave you a label deal, but you're not getting that same type of split. You're not getting that same type of leniency. Yeah, I would think you feel in a way about that too. Anybody would feel a way. I just think that's natural. Like, damn, you come to my company and get this astronomical deal. You get all this ownership of your music and I'm over here still splitting up the pie with all these motherfuckers. One nigga, one nigga, two nigga, three nigga, four. I will feel some type of way. I wonder what team Megan going to be on because she's cool with JT and now with the song today, cool with glow. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see that. I think in this moment, Megan's going to side with who's making her money. To be to be perfectly clear. Hold on, what happened? What did I miss? I hate the female rap beef, though. Can they all just get along and do one powerhouse tour? Oh, look at you trying to be a peacemaker. No, babe. They can't. They will not. <laughs> Everybody want the top spot. And they're going to go through whoever they can to get it. Even when they're not going to get it. It's just the, it's the allure of trying to get it. It's the chase. Yeah, yeah, legal hustle. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, sweetie. Yeah, we know sweetie not about that life. She come from she comes from rich activities. Right, Flo Millie put together an all girls tour this past summer. But I don't know if the Who's Who girls can get it together long enough though. Yeah, it's easier to put that together when everybody's independent and coming up. Because everybody's fighting for the same goal. Everybody really just wants to get on and get some money, change their life. But when you get people out here that's been out for a while, that's been famous, you know, they already done been through some things. Everybody's trying to fight for like that, that supremacy. I wonder if this why JT cried on Carisha, please. Maybe she knew somehow, some way the group friendship was shifting. I think that shift has been happening for a very long time. Even when they put that last album out and they were doing the press tour, going to the different radio stations, doing their interviews, the energy was already off. The writing was definitely already on the wall. The graffiti was complete. You know what I'm saying? Like They knew what it was. They knew it was their last hurrah. Marisha says Meg sold over 7 million albums and over 40 million records. All projects certified gold or higher. I mean, she earned that deal. Yeah, that's true. But there's artists that have done pretty close to that and didn't get the type of deal that she got. So shout out to Rock Nation. Shout out to her lawyer, her legal team, because they put in the work. I mean, they fought for this shit for, for three years. That's really the big the big deal. You get Jay-Z lawyer involved fighting for your behalf for three years, you're going to come out with something. Like Denzel said, I'm leaving. I'm going to leave. I'm leaving with something. <laughs> Everybody in the chat is saying that Meg is not cool with JT. Wow. JT ignored her for trauma zine just for Nikki to come out and say JT sent her verse back right away for Super Freaky Girl. Well then. Wow, Tyler, what up? Says, how do I get into the Nolan mob? You got a membership? Shit, you gonna make me start one, homie? I'm gonna have to start one. Know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to drop some inside the industry merch and stuff for y'all too, for the for the true insiders that wanna represent, wanna represent the crew when you're out there in the world. You know what I'm saying? Get some inside the industry shit made for y'all. Let me know if y'all are interested in that, by the way. Wow, hold on. Shout out to Star Broussard. Says, you and Jamie get me through. Love y'all content. Keep giving us the real. Hey, we, we greatly appreciate that. That is a family thank you because you pouring into the household and you shouting out both of us. Ain't that? Yes, thank you. We love to see it. Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. Y'all saying y'all something. We got to we got to advocate for for the merch. So that is going to be my job. That's going to be my uh, objective over the coming weeks figuring out how I could get some some solid inside the industry merch for y'all that's going to be readily available that I could just, you know, put out and y'all can support however y'all want, you know what I mean? I'm going to start wearing that motherfucker on the, on the uh on the stream too. I missed your super chat, Miss Curiosity. Hold on. Where, where? Oh, no, nah, I see. I see it. We got you. Miss Curiosity, this one is for the chat. Thank you very much, Miss Curiosity. We greatly appreciate you. I want to make sure everybody gets their, their credit. So thank you for reminding me so that I can scroll up some more because these, these chats is coming in fast. 
I'm on it. L said I need to make hats. Yeah, because I'm wearing a hat every every damn stream. But um Y'all, y'all, y'all gave me, y'all gave me the battery that I need in my back. I will be reporting soon. Um, every season rap wars. So, yeah, I mean, I hate, to, I hate to leave y'all with two hundred twenty-five strong. What, what else y'all want to talk about before I go? What y'all, what y'all see going on in in the world or in the game that I should bring some attention to while I'm on here? Let me go see what else is going on. Oh, Katie got bands done jumped in. Wow, where did they find Katie got bands? How the fuck y'all saying she jealous because someone mentioned her? Like, be for real. How the fuck y'all saying she jealous? So Katie is coming to uh, JT's defense. Less people know who Katie Got Bands is than fucking Akbar V. This girl had one goddamn song, viral song back in 2000, what, 11? And now she jumping in. Saweetie comes out and says that her notifications are blowing up. What does she do? Shit. You like the wrong shit. You like the wrong shit today. Don't be acting, don't be asking what done happened. It's crazy, man. Wow, you give us more of a performance playing Lotto than JT. Shit, it's crazy. These artists don't be, it's the thing about it, a lot of these artists be skipping through the actual developmental stage, which is why they get out here and be looking like they lost. It's because they really not, they don't really have a background in music. Like JT said to herself, she was in, she was in jail. She didn't go through the open mic. She didn't go through like the real developing stage where you where you earn your chops to become a performer. You learn how to project yourself on stage, you know, and that's not to negate nobody that doesn't go through that stage. But those are the moments where you actually become somewhat seasoned without having the world looking at you. And then when the world starts looking at you, niggas wonder why they, they shitting on you. Nikki's throwing shade on, on Glorilla. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me find out Nikki done jumped in. Wait a freaking minute. I don't see it. I, she said something about I know it got to hurt, but I don't know what she's referring to. I'm not going to put that on her badge. We'll keep a we'll keep a close eye for for if she's trying to jump in cuz that's going to be crazy. Say so talk about Aoki Lee dating a 63-year-old. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if I want to touch that right now, man. She learning from her mama. That's all I can really say. That shit wild. She learning from her mama. Ugh. Glow done pulled a Megan and got all the girls in a tizzy. That's crazy. Yo, I'm not. I just told you, I don't I don't see where where Nikki jumped in. She said something about I know it got to hurt, but I don't know what the hell she's talking about. She has a video of her backstage at her show. I, I want to believe that that's not. 
taking shots because this had to have been pre-recorded earlier at another time. So I'm not going to put that on Nikki name just yet. I got to see something a little bit more direct. Yeah, she dating a 63 year old. It's crazy. I think she damn near 19 or some shit. It's, it's definitely not. It's not nice. Murder on the beat, so it's not nice. Oh, boy. So much for so little. It's crazy, man. We got this whole WWE World Wrestling. Oh, wow. Ah. <sighs> Christian Combs, apparently they have an audio recording of him uh, improperly touching a young lady. You and your daddy are finna go down, sir. Down, down. What's, who y'all? Matter of fact, let's bring let's bring it back since we on here. <laughs> who y'all got in this Kendrick Cole thing? Gloss up, gloss up done came out. Wow. Hold on. What did gloss up say? Cause she ain't got no reason to be coming out. Is she even on Twitter or is she on her story on, on Instagram? Y'all got to let me know what she said. I'm on her IG. I don't see nothing current. I see she done changed her profile to, to Glorilla, though. Hey, we got Team K out in here. Thank you. You say you need a poll. Hold on. That's actually a really good uh, suggestion. Let me get in the chat over here. Shout out to the shout out to the text. So Gloss Up did have something to say. She actually went at Akbar V. So Gloss Up says, I was trying to stay out of this, but why do you feel like you had time to insert yourself in they shit? Mm. Damn. The whole South finna be at war. You got Memphis, you got Florida, and you got Atlanta. Oh, shit. And don't let Megan say nothing because Houston going to go crazy too. The whole Southeast finna get crazy. It's finna be goddamn civil rights all over again. Holy guacamole. This shit is, <laughs> this shit is too wild, yo. I had no idea. I had no idea it was getting lit like this out here, man. Let me see if these clowns gonna let me put a damn pole over here. If Meg whisper, it's going to be nuts. Yeah, like, Desi says, sup, Jay Nolan, I'm late to the live, but wanted to say you have folks in a tizzy about that J. Cole diss. I sure did, and I, I wasn't even aiming to, to get people that angry. To be honest, I wasn't expecting for that to happen like that. But it's okay. They be all right. SJD, I, I didn't see your uh, super chat earlier. I'm just now seeing it. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let me see if I can put this goddamn poll in.
Boom. Just dropped it in there. Y'all should see it in a second. Who you got in the battle? Kendrick or Cole? Let's let's settle this once and for all. <laughs> oh, niggas is jumping out the gate. Niggas jumping out the gate. I see 93% on Kendrick already. They say the uh the controversy kind of helps Glow's roll out. That it really does. I mean, this is the first day of her release. And it's already it's already up. So that's a big fact. Off ADHTK dot alone. Wow, you a section 80 fan. That's no doubt. Love them both dearly, but K Dot, thank you. I love them both too. I fucks with them. Well, I mean, can they get in the booth? I mean, Cole dropped. I don't know what. I don't know what Kendrick doing or when he's dropping again. Tamara says, "I'm pretty sure Kendrick may win, but because Cole is my fave, I still have hope for him." I I respect that. Definitely respect that. I like both artists, but so far, 47 votes in the chat, 86% in favor of Kendrick. So all the Dreamville folks are no longer here. They must have went to the festival. Cole should have focused on Dreamville this weekend and left that alone. I'm not even mad that he put put the joint out. I just thought he was going to come harder. Pause. Um, and like I said earlier, I just don't like the fact that he is like, I got to shoot my brother, but let me apologize. Dear Lord, forgive me. It's like, nigga, he already went through that. Like, let's get let's get to the real. Let's get to the rap rap. The gloves is off. Has touring with Drake made J. Cole soft? Nah, I think J. Cole is just a genuinely nice guy. I think he's a chill dude, you know, and I think when he goes in the booth, he turns on the bravado. Like I said, he's been asking for smoke for five years on everybody else's song, and I don't think he was actually prepared for nobody to ever call him on his shit. And even if somebody were to call him on his shit, because young boy... Played that game. He didn't go at young boy. He came out and said, you know, I still want to get one with you. So I don't think he's really that type of character. But when you come out here and, and you say it's the big three, but I feel like Muhammad Ali, basically you're saying you feel like the champ. Somebody may take exception to that. Drake and Future, nobody cares about them. Not like that. Not on no, not on no rap level beef bar for bar no drake is out there like i said drake is out there in a goddamn uh muscle suit trying to make it look like he's cut talking about can't nobody mess with him future already got that on lock you know what i'm saying future finna drop another album talking about we still don't trust you next week so they gonna have they could have at that they got they got bedroom problems they they've been smashing on the same girl pillow talking I don't really get into all that. So. I don't know. If Megan on this next future Metro album, I shit bricks. <laughs> I need her and Kendrick on a record too. It's fitting for right now. The team up would be crazy. But like I said, by the end of the year, we're going to see what side everybody end up on. It's definitely going to be a demarcation. Oh, wow. Wow. No male says a muscle suit on top of his BBL. <laughs> Why y'all say Drake got a BBL? I thought he got abs put on. I 
I thought Drake got abs sculpted in his shit. I ain't know he got a BBL. So y'all really, y'all really feel like Drake got his ass done? No Diddy. <laughs> Cause when y'all say BBL, I'm only thinking a Brazilian butt lift. Like, it's definitely looking like reconstruction out this bitch. That's crazy. What is the male BBL? I, I must I must really be out in the loop. What is the male version of the BBL? Kanye got lipo, didn't he? My nigga Kanye got his shit lipoed and everything and gained it right back. That's crazy. Because when they get them and it makes his waist smaller and his ass pop. So, wow. That's crazy. I wouldn't be mad at a Kendrick and, and Doja collab. Even a Kendrick and Nicki collab might be fire. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if we'll ever see it. Oh, so the tummy tuck is what y'all are calling a male BBL. Okay. Jeez. Oh, they call it ab etching. Got you. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all funny as hell. Not the daddy makeover. That's crazy. So you mean to tell me all them, all them times Drake was acting like he was in the gym? He was really doing what the what the IG models be doing? They they get their body done and then go flex like they've been putting work in the gym. That's crazy. Not poppy plastic. Hey yo, y'all funny. Oh, Lonnie said Nikki need to stay far the hell away from Kendrick. If she couldn't keep up with Cole, fuck she gonna do with him. And Drake. I ain't going to say she couldn't keep up with Cole. I mean, Cole just came and dropped the truth serum on that song. She wasn't even prepared for what that nigga was finna drop on her shit. The chat being extra petty. They going to the fuck in. <laughs> Damn. Posted in another nigga hood like a bad chick. Damn. Y'all calling, y'all messy as hell, bro. <laughs> let me let me make a uh, one more stop, see if anything else is happening of note, and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up if niggas ain't talking about nothing in the, on the on the streets. While I got y'all. Now, how the hell Glorilla done posted online already? Talking about some get them glow. Wow, hold up. <laughs> These motherfuckers is funny. Hold on. What the hell going on? <laughs> What the hell going on? 21. Can't get do something for me. He should have never said that. Glow out here tripping. Get him, Glow. <laughs> what the hell going on, man? Oh, man. This fucking hip hop shit is too funny right now. Niggas is really going the fuck in.
Yep, JT retired for the evening. Her last statement was, y'all hold some weak-ass hypocrites. Wow. I appreciate y'all for joining the chat. We had a great time. Y'all talking about Drake getting a mommy makeover, poppy makeover. That's crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> These ladies... I don't think this is going to be the last of it. It's The ball is really in JT's court now. Now people are going to be waiting to see if she comes back with a track dissing. Because Glorilla's album mixtape is already out. So she said her piece. <laughs> she said her piece. So next we looking to see if JT is going to respond. All right. As y'all know, inside the industry, we keep up with everything. So if anything drops, if any new sequence of tweet hate comes out, we're going to be on top of it. I appreciate y'all for being here. Yeah, she's imitating the meme for sure. Um, for everybody that put the put the super chats in there, I'm going to play Lotto for y'all one last time. And then we're going to sign out for the evening. All right. So let's get this popping. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Man, I done came up out the bottom. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Got fresh like I just hit the lotto. Ooh, 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 yeah. yeah. They say money can't fix all your problems. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Well, I say throw it yeah, in my ooh, wallet. Ooh, 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 yeah. Man, I done came up out the bottom. Ooh, 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 yeah. Got fresh like I just hit the lotto. Ooh, 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 yeah. They say money can't fix all your problems. Ooh, 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 yeah. Well, I say throw it yeah. in my wallet. Yeah. Once again, much love and respect to everybody that was tuned in tonight. I appreciate y'all. Everybody that gave Super Chats, I appreciate y'all. All my insiders, I appreciate y'all. We're going to be right back on here tomorrow. Y'all know how we do. Keep it locked. Turn your notifications on. Be sure to like and share the video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Become an insider. You don't want to be an outsider. Make sure all your post notifications are turned on. Tell a friend to tell a friend about your boy, Jay Nolan. All right? Much love and respect. I'll see y'all later. Peace. King of my city in cul de sac. Coming, I swing like soldier rat. Leading my people like quarterback. But I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Spinning the block for the gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. We don't do beef on computers, I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. No map, I trust my gut for the quest. With drama, I'm fully abreast. I was ready for years and they doubted me. All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters like calories. Cross my I came back with some battery, stand for my honor, but you run no gunner, packing a stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one fumble? I done came too far to be humble.